steer you into the right, you know, the rightful path, but you know. No, but I like playing dumb. No, no, I agree. I I played it. I played eighteen. I know what it's like to get carried, man. Don't worry about it. You you do you. <laughs> I think I think we're starting up yeah. first game, CVK twenty eight, Serie Dan versus Tomorrow. And this is actually, I think, the game that I was like, most uncertain about. And when I was thinking about it in my head, I was like, how, do you, how are these two going to stack up? I'm pretty sure they played against each other online. Um, so, you know, they might have experience with each other. But this Nappa and this Blue GR are two things that are going to be uh, easy to adapt to right now. And obviously, GTQ or Little Q, whatever the hell you want to call them, is an unknown for them as well. All right, now, uh, Surreal in the corner. Well, with uh, Stimaro with Nappa on there. I mean, Nappa is a character that you usually don't want to have uh, in the corner or have, uh, like, be in a defensive, like, very early on. He's amazing in his um, offensive abilities, but yeah. because of his big body, he, he can suffer very easily. Like, you, you saw there, he had mm. to score because else Nappa would have been dead. Yeah, that was a big 2 inch there from Stimaro, but you, you see, Tsuri, I don't want to have any of that. Immediately getting into just spark. He didn't want anything to do that. But we're seeing a lot of pressure come out from Stimoro's Nappa. Uh, but Tiridan managed to fight out of the corner. Uses both assists. Take the Dragon Rush. Good from Stimoro. Nice usage there from uh, from Suryu with the Blue Jita uh, assist. It's actually something that I... Uh, I mean, you don't see that many Blue, B uh, Blue Vegeta uh, players anymore. Because a lot of the players, they're not really fond of the assist. Ooh, and level I'm three! He said stop mash it! Yo. Oh, and grab as well! He catches him with the one and he's dead! See, that grab is insane, right? He jumps into the air, which makes you want to stand up. But then that just means you're easier for Vegeta to grab you and yeet you across the room. Big, big play there from Syriadan to get the first kill. And Samoa's still in this game. He has bar big 2H coming from Syriadan. Let's see if All he right. can... Yeah, get, gets a full conversion that's a little bit more difficult against uh, GT Goku because you, you can't put him too high up because if you do, you will you will miss the knockdown um, the, mock, uh, the knockdown route with SSJ Goku. Uh, mm. Yeah, because uh, the Kai Blast can easily whiff against him. It's kind of an annoying thing, actually. Yeah, but, I've, I've had that too, where like uh, his hitbox makes it difficult to hit certain you know uh, combos. Yeah. And, I mean, there are combos that are GT Goku exclusive, like like they cannot work on GT Goku. That work on mm. anyone else. It's really really a, a, like dumbfounding in, in certain ways. And they're like, I, I have noticed as well off snap, like it can be difficult to lock him down because he's a very small boy. Um, Suridan actually getting level three here, using that change to get slightly knocked down, just super dashes at him. Doesn't get much from it though. Yeah, one of the changes in one of the past patches was uh, that the level 3 now knocks down also higher up. So that, that became really, really strong with the damage uh, optimization uh, together with Big Bang attack. Uh, but a straight hit from Samora here means that Suryland's Blue GR is going to go down level 1 in hard Super Saiyan 3. Pull out that. No eyebrows twice, actually. And uh, that's going to be a dead Blue GR. And Suryland is going to be down to his TN and... If I had to pick a character for Suridan to be stuck with, it wouldn't be Tien, right? Because Tien is like a like Tien is actually like a cucumber sandwich. It feels like there isn't much he could do. Um, but we'll see what Suridan could do. Dragon Rush hits for tomorrow. He's gonna finish that combo, take him to the corner. So but not gonna lie, that color looks amazing. Like I hate awesome. all the Easter colors. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that color. It's it's basically bubble gum. It's amazing. The only good one is Cell, and the rest of them are cheeks. Wow, you got no uh, taste, man. What? <laughs> I, I, I have been... I feel like I'm the most fashionable 18 player there is. <laughs> I, my, my color choice is supreme. I don't know, man. <sighs> I'm mad. Whoa, let's poke on the overhead, actually. The command grab catches him out. Yeah, but cannot kill, doesn't have any meter, and a lot of meter penalty now going on. Uh, gets, gets back with the meter build, though. Nice yeah. drive rush. Should be able yeah, to secure the kill. Nice. Catch these hands. And I'm, I'm very glad first game is actually kind of close. We've got base, um, little Goku for us tomorrow and Tien for Suryodan. Damn, full screen dive. Get... Wild. But Suryodan yeah. just trying to get in. Doesn't want to be in neutral with this little kid. Yo, just smash L. It would have reached the back there. Ooh, and it's the back throw. No, what, why don't you throw into the corner? Ah, he, he, he could have done uh, the auto combo to throw back into the corner. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. 
It's kind of weird because Demaro used to play a little bit of uh, Videl as well. Um, and Videl does like uh, does the exact same thing with the auto combo. Oh, nearly hits him with the 2H. Dragon Rush doesn't connect there. And that's where that dies to pretty much anything. Yeah. You can't really throw anything out. You know, yeah, Simaro, mesh Simaro mashing a lot of the racing guns. <gasps> oh, oh, he him over, but doesn't get the kill. Uh, Simaro ah, lives. The Dunkey Super Dash is cursed! Oh, and he jumps him out of the Super Dash as well! Like, that was a great first game, actually down to the wire. And Siridan is going to be kicking himself, because he definitely could have taken it. Had an excellent jump over the Kamehameha. Um, could have got a, any sort of start he wanted. Went for the 2M and couldn't convert. But game one is going to go to Stamora. And I think we're going to see... that. That's the president. They both set a president for the game and what they want to do. Stamora just wants to take Siridan into the corner, oppress him with the Nappa, if he hits the clapper, then that's great as well. But Tyrion is like, okay, I want to be, you know, speedy kicking you across the the map. You know, have, use these big bag attacks to keep you at the range that I want you. And now uh, some Cyberman planted by us tomorrow. Uh, let's see if Surio is aware of that. Uh, nice block there, but uh, using the assist to oh, nice uh, instant air dash or cross up conversion. Uh, one of the few things that Nappa is really really strong at due to the jump M hitbox. That uh, also causes a lot of hits done. And now with the uh, corner mix ups and the uh, Abara situation snapback. Yes, and, indeed. Yeah, he's gonna bring him back. Try and keep him blocking for all of this sparking. Waste of time. And now it's gone. Captured him with a low. Another one. Planted. And now with the mix up again, so many lows. Catch that low. Oh, no. Oh, he's <laughs> dead. He's dead. That is over, yeah, no, he's, he's dead as hell. And you said it, so many lows, and Siridan just really wasn't expecting Slapped on the head uh, by Big Napa Clapper. Losing Bugia and Sparking, looking in a bit of a dire place, but can get a combo here on Blue Goku. Blue Goku. They, yeah, look, I, look, kick Goku. Oh, yeah. he crossed him out of the corner, that's insane. Nice guy, Castle, to get out of it. GT Goku privileges at its finest. It's... It's so insane. insane. This character is going to break the matter. Mark my words. Like, we're going to see uh, like eight Kid Gokus in top eight of something. I'm, I'm sure. not too sure about that, to be honest. I'm sure of this character being so, he's so good. Such a great assist. Such a great character himself. But Siridan, this is one of the, the advantages of having TM, right? He can now use a bunch of bar. He's not going to use a bunch of bar. <laughs> because he misses the level 3 to try and kill, but Super Dash connects on these uh, Nappa swapping in. We'll get the meterless snap back on the Goku. Will he be able to get the kill? But no fuzzy against GT Goku, one of the big advantages. But managed to hit the Dragon Rush, and that's going to be a dead kick Goku. And Suridan evening it up when it looked kind of dire. Uh, doesn't have sparking left, that's uh, on Stamora's side, as well as the bar advantage. We're going to see if. He's gonna start 5-H. Nah, he's not nah, bad. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, it's tomorrow. He will only start 5 aging as soon as uh, as he got, uh, like, he's scared you. Like, you, you're scared of him and he figures that out. Then he's like, well, now I can do 5 age and just uh, get my pressure going on as much as I will. So. Yeah, he hits him with the low from the very start and that's a dead Goku too. Yeah, man, that, that Nappa is... I, I, would, I would actually say it's tomorrow is one of the most optimized Nappa players in Europe. Uh, yeah, no. Sure. Like he has so many clean conversions from any, um, like, not from any, but from a lot of Cyberman uh, hits and uh, from uh, juggle um, situations and stuff like that. It's really insane how much he can get from any any hit he wants. Yeah, no, you can tell this guy spent so much time in the lab just really learning the character, learning how to confirm off of everything. But Shuridan comes back with the TM. He's going to see if he can get any mix-up. There, the command grab. And Suridan actually said this on the stream, and I really liked it. He was like, I won't use command grab unless it's going to kill you. Right? Otherwise, it's just a waste for him. And then, you know, he could have killed these really low, so it's a great option from there. But tomorrow, still alive. Seven bars. Spark it. He's in a favorable position, but Suridan can still take this. Just throwing some wild jabs in the corner. Goku, no 2L, but manages to open him up with the 5M. And the sparking oh. comes out. We're gonna see some loops. There we go. I think this is gonna be it. Uh, looks like he might not have enough damage. I oh, know it's not gonna be. He could have optimized it a little bit more with uh, with going for um, specific route that uh, Wawa told me about. Uh, when you uh, do a dragon rush into this uh, snapback variant when there is no other character available anymore, you can actually get yeah. more hits in there and then get level three. It's insane. All right, but. 
It's tomorrow now in on the back foot after the no Oki level three, but managed to eclipse Syria Dan with the JM to and secure the second game. Yeah, two oh four tomorrow, and yep. uh, I mean you have to, you have to keep in mind that uh, Syria he he's he, he plays a little bit uh, an unorthodox uh, team, right? I mean, yeah. not only does he play uh, a blue Vegeta, but he also plays Super Saiyan Goku on second instead of on third, and mm. uh, Tien on anchor. That, that that's a very um, it's a, it's a team that can like Im inflict a lot of damage, but it's yeah. very unstable. So as soon as something goes wrong, uh, the match is gonna shift because of that. And I think that plays to Suradan's. Uh... You know, mental style as well. As soon as something can, goes wrong, it can break. And it seems so complements that as well. As soon as you know you lose a piece of this puzzle, that's when it can start to get a bit difficult. Uh, Suridan already expending sparking, and I think Moro has done a really good job of that this game, um, of this set. Sorry, he's been applying the pressure very early, keeping him on the back foot, forcing him to use that sparking so he can't use it for anything offensive, and just damaging this Bujia, keeping him on the sidelines. Exactly, and I mean, in Dragon Ball, usually the the guy who uses Spark first is the one who uh, who gave up the advantage for sure for the rest of the match. Yeah. Uh, because because then at, after the sparking is being used, uh, the other player can just uh, use the sparking to w whenever he wants. He doesn't have to worry anymore about ah, is there gonna be a comeback or ah, is there gonna be a one touch kill. Uh, you can just use the sparking for any strategy that you want. You you prefer to save that one character? No problem, just use spark. And I think Stamoru is, is is really doing well with this as well, because he gets him into a position where it's like, okay, you have to spark or you're going to get mixed up. And then yeah. after the spark is gone, it's like, okay, you're getting mixed up now. And you can't choose to avoid this. And he's using that twice to like, twice on any character and he'll kill them. Like, really good two-touch conversions from uh, Stamoru. And he's looking very likely to take this game. Um, all of these have been really close games, but Swan's just had that little edge. And then the power pole extend comes out. Managed to take him halfway across the screen. Level one, level three. Scream at this man. Oh, that level three is so cool. <laughs> very, very nice neutral there from Sumo as well. I mean, the power pole yeah. that, that that actually was pretty nicely timed at, at a very at the perfect height. But also before his movement was uh, with GT Goku very, very on point. He he dashed under the character. Uh, during, uh, oh, nice reflect there. Dur during any uh, instant air dashes, and uh, that allowed him to go for some uh, pressure situations and to escape the corner. So very nice awareness there from Sumoro. Now going on, uh, trying to win the third match with uh, the last character from Suryu on the on the corner. The overhead there connects, and I think what happened there, Suryu then uh, vanished. Uh, saw the side man and thought, you know, I only have one option here, and that's the level three. And you know, tomorrow is wise to it. Have the reflect ready to go, punished appropriately, and the clapper comes out. And is that the end? That is absolutely the end. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see a great combo come out. Sparking Dragon Rush into level one. Smell my finger. And the low kick. And tomorrow takes that game. And that was a lot more commanding than any of the other games. Um, yeah, I don't know what the, he just steamrolled him. And I think what Suryodan needs to do is find a way to... Was that the third game or the fourth game? Am I, am I wilding? This is not the fourth game. So it's 3-0. Uh, it's 3-0, it's okay. Yeah. I think Suryodan is just making a change. But I think what Suryodan needs to do is try and find a way to take the initiative. And, you know, it's it's difficult against uh, this team, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean the uh, especially against Napa. Like, uh, you, you have to know, um, Nappa is the kind of character where in order to even make a guess, you have to know which situations can come up, right? Mm -hmm. um, so with all the mix-up situations that he has there, um, if, if, you, if, if you're in the corner and you have to block the things, uh, you don't even know when you have to decide to block high or low. And, and that's something that's very, very difficult to adapt to like in, in the middle of a match. And uh, Samura is really taking advantage of that as of now. And this might be one of the negatives of being a streamer, right? You know, like everyone's seen the mix with Suridan. Everyone knows how Blue Gear works now, so you don't get that character and familiarity. But with Nappa, God knows what this man is doing in the corner. He's just throwing like limbs out and they're hitting. Don't even know what's going on. And, you know, you see already, he's already going in the corner. Oh, he's ready. Was that a general fate? That was wild. 
I, I think it was actually intentional. Using the Dragon yeah. Rush to bait a, a, a mash and using the Cyberman in order to beat that. Yo, what a cool. asshole character. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is scummy as hell. But yeah. Cyberman trying to be in, just as scummy. Will he swap out the Napa? No, keeps him in. He's gonna try and force the Sparky. Tried to bait Ash with the Bat Dash. Oh, that's a really, that's really good for Siri then. Connecting here will mean he can snap back in the Snapper. We try and get some weird mix on him. No. Dragon Rush connects, and that's going to be Nappa gone. And this is key. So you're not getting rid of Nappa early is very, very, very important. Yeah. Two, you know, that's his win con one of his win conditions, right? And he oh. now has his full team working against two characters. I think he, he can, you know, control neutral around a bit better. However, now you have to keep in mind that Simero still has sparking. He still has enough bar. He has two rather healthy characters, especially GT Goku and Super Saiyan Goku, who work uh, with each other extremely well so uh even though nappa who is the star of the team i think we can all agree is, is dead he still has a lot of lethal options in order to uh you know just reverse the momentum in in any snap oh, catches him mashing them so the counter here on the side so then really trying to press this, this goku and i think it's very difficult oh managed to catch him with a high despite how short he is and that's cool oh! see that works with any other character i believe and you know, the timing might just be weird with little Goku. Um, so Suridan doesn't actually get the, the kill there. We'll go back into... Oh, I said neutral, then vanishes immediately. Stupid Ash. Good block on the cross-up, actually. Man, this is a catch him with the low. Doesn't convert and get the kill. And Suridan, rightly so, immediately swaps Goku out. But we might see Goku... We, oh, the spark, actually. What's this? Yeah, this is gonna kill. This is gonna kill. For is he, sure. Is dead? Is this it? Oh, oh no, no, he's the combo. But the power pole to catch the swap in, and that's level one. It's gonna do a ton of damage. And... No, oh, he dropped it! It was too far away. Because it was too far away, the Kamehameha didn't hit in time. And so, so you're given another chance of life for this beat here. He's gonna take him down level one. No, he had another drop! We're seeing a lot of spaghetti being dropped in the floor. Nice command grab. Gonna go into level one. Oh, he tried to cancel, I think, the Naya Pummel into more of a combo, but. The reflect comes out from Samoa and he managed to get the kill. We're seeing what I think is nerves come out from both players. A kill, you know, a kill, um, kill combo dropped by Samoa and the same thing for Suridan. And both of them are sort of feeding off their own nervous energy. Suridan throwing out a wild command grab as well. Manages to block and, you know, yeah, he's zero on the, on, after the 6M. No reason not to challenge there. And level three comes out to kill the base Goku. No culture, unfortunately. But Suidan grabs a game back from the depths of defeat. Still 3-1 to Simoro. Yeah, this is still possible, but uh, Simoro is still uh, in the big lead. He, he just needs one game. This is going to be a rather difficult uh, mental breakthrough for uh, Suryu. But uh, it's still but, possible for sure. Like, Suidan is the weirdest guy, right? Because he's the person that you don't bet on in a comeback. But he's also the person you do because... He's the kind of person, you know, he has that online warrior heart about him and he can make that work. And we'll see if he employs it. Sparking comes out early. He doesn't want this blue gear to be too damaged. Obviously changes to uh, blue health. Means that you want to be a bit more uh, reserved with your characters taking damage. Right now he's taking this nap to the corner. Doesn't finish the combo, unfortunately. Damn. Kind of hit. Suridan was pressing that thing. The super dashes in this game have been really ridiculous. They they hit cross up in so weird ways, and this is gonna kill. I think this is actually gonna kill. Is that, that's all wrong. Oh, just alive. Let's see if we can get a swap out. Probably gonna call an assist. Yep, and bring in another character. I thought it would, be, would be the other way around, but brings out Goku instead. And now they're both just sitting in this neutral face. Nice super dash over the power pole. He's gonna get a full combo for this. See what he chooses to do. Is he going to choose to spend the bar? Or is he going to try and keep him in the corner? Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to keep the bar. Crosses yeah. up again. This kid is crazy. Super dash. Into sliding, not down. Chooses See, not to snap this. back. He staggers and he catches the guard cancel. And that's going to be a dead Bugia. Kind of ill decision making there from Syria. I don't think the guard cancel. You know, he's kind of antsy to get out of the corner and get into a fighting situation against the mole, and that causes him to lose his Vegeta. Still doable. And now oh. with the overhead, the high-low mix-up with the Rasengan is quite lethal and something that people still have to get used to. I mean, the character is barely two weeks old, so... Oh, it's one coming out. 
Was it in time? It was. And I have a lot of Oki on this. The mix on this is insane, but level 3... This is where what C4 said comes into play, right? He has that switch in him. He's, he can say, you know, I'm turning on this online crap right now. We're going to see Sparkin come out, for sure. Um, yeah, no, get all that blue life back. Um, and get the kill. So, big stuff from tomorrow. But I, like I said, Sawyer was ready to, you know, while like, I, he said, I'm betting it all on this. Goes out to level 3. Managed to connect, but Simoro gets all of that health back with his fucking great defense by him. A Dragon Rush, really difficult to see actually behind the explosion. No 2H on the Super Dash there. I would have expected that one to be. No Look at this. Take pressure. This kid go and more staggers and just so difficult to deal with. Though. Like while he's staggering, the assists are coming back, so it feels like you're in an infinite loop pressure. Or oh, there were double Rush in them. Catch him with the high. And see, what will he choose to do here? I think he's gonna go for level level three. Really? Oh, yeah, he, was, he he was planning to go to level three. He wanted to cross up with the with the auto combo and then we'll go to the game, uh, the Kamehameha dashes to set up for the Genki Dama. Unfortunate drop though means the Syrian is still alive. Three characters in one TM, the last human alive. Will he be able to defend against the Saiyans? No mix up coming. He just wants to go back to neutral. He just wants to feel safe. He yeah. has that 3 bar, but every time he uses it for guard cancel, it means he can't use his bar to kill any of these men. But that EX Racing Gun has been doing a lot of work for Simura. It covers mm. so much space and uh, puts you in so much block zone. It's insane. And now back to the corner with a lot of Sega pressure. What is he gonna do? Overhead? Good blocks from Suridan, but gets hit by the power pole. Super Dash comes in late and he's gonna get hit by Suridan. Will he drop 5 ball? Yeah. He is gonna do that, yeah. Hold this! No, it goes for one! Okay, no. He wants to keep that health. GT Goku... Oh, GT Goku things. Okay, it goes over. Guard cancels out again. Is he expecting a switch? Super Dash is up close. Power Pole doesn't connect. And then we're on covering a lot of space in front. Do we get the X Racing Gun? No, he's gonna die. And now SSJ Goku is coming back. Nappa on, uh, on the back, who actually has a pretty uh, dangerous uh, assist for a character like Tien, because Tien, uh, he doesn't really have that uh, that good of um, Kai Blast, so he has to rely on a lot of physical attacks, which means yeah. he also has to move a lot. Oh, oh almost got the hit! Oh, he tried to actually challenge off the 6M, but gets caught by another 6M, uh, and Stamon takes that 4-1. Uh, pretty, I think the, you know, the score doesn't tell the true story of this set, I think it was quite close. Uh, but Stamura just had that little edge when it came to the start of the game and, you know, giving himself that advantage. And every single time he could force that sparking early, he just, you know, really punished by getting a kill on the character. Really well played from Stamura, actually.